Hello, my name is Adrian Tanev. I'm a senior researcher at the Department of Dermatology at the Medical University of Vienna, where I am heading both the phototherapy unit and the psoriasis outpatient clinic. I'm summarizing here a study that we recently performed that centered on the combined use of fumaric acid esters with, photother with phototherapy. The reason for the study was as follows. We are using fumaric acid esters, also called fumarates, since many years. It is a very effective treatment, it is very safe in the long term, but it has two drawbacks. First of all, there are common side effects in the early phase of treatment that, however, are well manageable and usually subside with prolonged treatment. The other drawback is a very slow onset of action, and that is where our study came in. We hypothesized that a short additional course of narrowband UVB during the initial phase of treatment might both accelerate and improve the therapeutic response in patients who are put on a treatment with fumaric acid esters. The study was done as follows. It was a randomized controlled prospective study and we performed two treatment groups. One group of patients, including 16 patients who only received fumaric acid esters as a monotherapy with the usual dosage, and the other group of patients who, in addition to the standard fumaric acid esters treatment, received a six week course of phototherapy. And phototherapy was performed thrice weekly using our standard dose escalating regime. Their patients were assessed in two weeks intervals and the primary outcome was the decrease in PASI after six weeks of either monotherapy or combined treatment. The demographics of the patients are as follows. We had included 30 patients and all those patients had moderate to severe psoriasis. What were the outcomes? After six weeks of treatment, patients in the monotherapy group experienced the PASI reduction from 14 to 9.0. That is a median PASI reduction of 51%. In contrast, patients in the combination group had a decrease of their baseline PASI score of 15.4 to, to 2.8, which is equivalent to a PASI reduction of 69%. That is significantly better. This was paralleled, paralleled by a much more pronounced decrease of the DLQI. Patients who only received the monotherapy had a decrease of the DLQI from 14 to 6, which is equivalent to 55%, whereas patients in the combination group had a decrease from 10.5 to 2, equivalent to a reduction of 73%. In addition of the six weeks of treatment, 73% of the patients in the combination group achieved PASI 75, as compared to none of the patients in the monotherapy group. With regard to side effects, both treatments were in general very well tolerated. We had those usual side effects associated with the administration of fumaric acid esters that are in particular gastrointestinal complaints and episodal flushes that usually subsided with ongoing treatment. So to, sum to summarize what are the findings of our study and what do our findings add to the routine management of patients with psoriasis, we found that in a selected subset of patients who wants to have a more accelerated and more enhanced response to treatment with fumaric acid esters, an additional six weeks course of photonero band UVB might be very effective and result 
in an enhanced patient's satisfaction with this very long-standing and well-established treatment.